guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Today I'm going to be reviewing something different on my channel. It's not eyeshadow. It is foundation. This actually showed up at my doorstep today at I think it was like 7 o'clock in the morning. I never get mail that early but Ulta came through with the shipping here. <laughs> and I had just ordered it I think it was two days ago, so super fast shipping, very happy. I didn't pay for any extra shipping on it. I just got the standard one, so that's pretty exciting. I'm happy to start, although that is about to change because they sent me the wrong foundation shade. That was the first thing I noticed. I was like, ooh, I'm about to look real dark. <laughs> So I was able to get my hands on the new L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. It retails for $14.99 on Ulta's website. The shade in which they sent me was 455 Natural Buff, which looks like so. The shade in which I was trying to get was called Ivory. There's about eight shades in between ivory to natural buff, so I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna play out on my face. I kinda wanna do like a little test on the side here. I mean, you can, you can tell that is not my foundation shade, but I might just have to roll with it. I do have the mixing pigments from LA Girl that I did the whole review and testing on. So what I would do is just take a little bit of the white mixing pigment and make it my perfect color. But I don't want any of you guys saying that I am altering the foundation in any way and then you're not getting a full on review. So I'm going to save that for a later date if I decide to continue using this foundation, if it works out today. So I think I'll just have to look a little bit tanner than normal. <laughs> But I do have huge hopes for this foundation today because I'm a huge fan of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. That foundation sits beautifully on me and I have very oily skin and I do not see any of my oiliness poking through. It just looks flawless throughout the entire day. So I'm hoping this is gonna be just a sister foundation of it, slightly different but still as good. At least that's what I'm hoping for today. I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it and then I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about it and then of course we are gonna be doing a wear test today. So I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of my Benefit Professional, this little, what is it, sample or deluxe size? It's, it's 0.1 of a US fluid ounce. It's not that large, but it has lasted me a long time. I got that Superstars kit quite a while ago, and I have been uh, constantly using this one because it's so nice. I would definitely purchase the full size of that one. I think I'm gonna pump some to the back of my hand. I'm gonna go in with a sponge on this half and then use a brush on the other half because I know not everybody likes to use a sponge, not everyone likes to use a brush, so I'm gonna give you both options and see if there's a difference between the two. So let's just start applying it. Ooh, come on Ulta, why are you playing me like this? <laughs> why just you me the wrong foundation? I'm pulling up the notes here on my phone and it's saying that of course it is a 24 hour wear foundation. It's a long lasting foundation with their most lightweight breathable texture. It is waterproof. Hmm, I'm wondering how I could test that. Because it's the middle of winter, I'm not exactly gonna go and jump in a pool now, so you need to think about that. And it's transfer resistant, sweat resistant, medium to full buildable coverage foundation with a natural finish. Gotta make sure I bring this down my neck because if I'm falsifying a tan today, you can't have it not be on your neck, especially if you're as pale as I am. Which is actually a really good test to see if it's transfer resistant because I have this kind of like collared shirt on today and if the foundation is going to rub off on the shirt, that's a good test because I'm going to bring it all the way down so that way I can hide my natural color. So I mean this foundation has some pretty good claims to it. We are going to find out today though if they're true. Time for the inspection. All right, so aside from the fact that this is not my foundation shade, it does look really beautiful. Gave me a nice seamless, even coverage. I would definitely say this is a medium coverage with that initial first layer, which does feel really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look cakey. So now I'm gonna switch to the other side and I'm gonna start using a brush and start working it in using my Morphe Y6. 
Oh, and also the sponge blended out beautifully. I love using a sponge for application. So we're about to find out if a brush can do the same. Now it didn't specify online whether this is supposed to be a matte or a glowy foundation, but I do believe it's supposed to be a matte foundation because I can see on the other side here, it's already drying down and it does have a very matte finish to it. It's not giving off any kind of luminosity to it. And then let's check this out, brush to sponge. Honestly, I don't see any real difference between the two. I think you will get a beautiful application using whichever tool you prefer. I don't think there is a preferred method. Just do whatever you enjoy. And then I'm just gonna take the smallest amount of concealer to work in underneath the eyes because you guys know how I like to do it on foundation testing days. I don't like to do the full shebang putting concealer all over my face because I mean that can alter the foundation wear test. If you have concealer in those areas where you get the most oily in different places like that, I mean you won't really get a full test of it. So I try to just put a little bit underneath the eyes just to give a little bit more coverage under there and avoid the rest of the face so that way I can get a really good test. Then I'm gonna set the face with a little bit of Cody Airspun powder. I'm just gonna do it the normal way in which I usually do is I'm just gonna take a little bit on the chin, sides of the mouth, powdering down the nose, the forehead, and this is in translucent so it's not gonna give off any color but I do set these areas every single day so I'm not gonna do anything different and just putting a little bit of light powder with the sponge underneath the eyes so we don't get any creasing. And here we have it, the base, and I'm gonna zip. I'm gonna put it up like here because, I mean, you guys saw I put my foundation to, down to about right here. So this is gonna be sitting on top of the foundation right now. I'm gonna be moving around a little bit and I'm gonna be finishing up the rest of my face. And then I'm gonna come back to you guys. We're gonna check to see if there was any transferring because it's supposed to be transfer resistant. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. I am gonna give you guys the time now though. It is currently 9.37 a.m. I like to give you guys the time now because I mean it's already on my face and I usually take a while doing the rest of my makeup. That way we can get a full eight hour wear test. I'm gonna really quickly do the rest of the face off camera and I'm not gonna do anything too crazy to the face. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of contour, some highlight and then do the eyes. And of course, add some lips on. So I'll be right back in two seconds. With everything else completed on the face, I just automatically look so much better. <laughs> and I have to tell you guys, the Melt Smoke Sessions palette I am obsessed with. Oh my gosh, I've been doing more little tutorials on my Instagram and today I'm wearing the shade Blue Dream in my inner corner. I've been loving doing that because that is such a beautiful soft blue shade. And then of course I did use my Frankation palette because that one is solid as well. These two, ooh, new fave. But anyway, back to uh, the foundation. I'm gonna do a little uh, collar shirt test, which actually, let me zoom you guys a little bit closer. That way you are able to see with me. And I mean, it's looking pretty good. I'm thinking there's a little bit of foundation coming off right about in here. It's very faint. So I'm planning to keep my shirt zipped up throughout the rest of the day because I mean that's always one of the worst things when you are wearing your makeup throughout the day you're out and about you may have a sweater on a long sleeve tee and it's got a little bit of a collar and then you see that ring of foundation forming <sighs> that is one of the worst things to see at the end of the day so I'm gonna leave it up and then see if we have any kind of transferring because this is a really good test. And here is a little bit of a close-up of the foundation as well. So far it's sitting very beautifully. Where I didn't set with powder, it has completely locked itself into place. It doesn't even feel tacky or anything like that. It just has kind of formed with the skin and it doesn't feel heavy. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. So far I am really enjoying it, but I mean, that can always change throughout the day as you are wearing it. 
you know, things can start to break apart depending on your skin type. Things can just completely change from the initial first impressions. So I am planning on doing two check-ins today, one in four hours from now, see if there is any difference, if I'm noticing any shines, any kind of caking going on. And then I'm going to do a second check-in at eight hours, which is going to be the end of the foundation test. So I'm going to go ahead and check in with you guys four hours from now, which to you guys is just a matter of three, two, one. Boom! Four hours later, which actually is just a little bit over four hours now. It is currently 1.55 p.m. and oh my goodness, it just started to rain outside. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> Off topic. But this foundation, I already took a little sneak peek. I've been kind of checking on it and it looks so good. I don't see any of my shine or oiliness starting to poke through yet. Everything looks and feels very matte. I don't have any weird caking going on, any grabbing, or any fading. I am trying my best to not rest my hand on my face, especially on days like this. I try to always avoid that because I do have a bad habit of like scratching my nose and like touching my chin and things. So I've been trying to stop that and make sure I don't do that today because I want to see if this wears off on its own. But so far, everything is looking flawless. Which this does leave me with very high hopes because four hours in and I still look like I just applied this foundation. Which by the way, I didn't mention that this does have sunscreen in it. It has an SPF of 25 and it is a full one ounce bottle. Completely forgot to mention that in the beginning so I just want to throw that in now. But that is going to be the halfway check-in and I will be checking in with you guys at the end of the day now. We're going to fast forward to eight hours later. It's official. We made it to eight hours later. It is currently 5.42 p.m. at night. It is pitch black outside and this daylight savings time is killing me. I hate how early it starts to get dark. I mean, right now it feels like it's nine o'clock and it's barely going to be six. But anyways, let me start off by giving you guys a close-up of the foundation. That way you guys can see for yourself exactly how it's sitting right now. So let me scoot you in. And here is the foundation eight hours later. And you guys, it's pretty crazy how good this foundation looks at eight hours later. I'm really shocked. I don't look overly shiny. I don't look like I have any weird caking going on or p weird patches falling off that have been transferring throughout the day. And with this foundation being a few shades, well, a few, a lot of shades darker than I am, it would be pretty evident where it is missing in areas. And it has been staying put all day long. It looks absolutely flawless. I only have a little bit of shine here on my nose, but that is not bad at eight hours later. Like I could just powder that down and keep this foundation going. I'm even wondering how the collar is looking here because this has been sitting around my neck the entire day. And you know what? It actually has no real transfer to it. That is impressive which is so nice to have a foundation that you can put on and not have to worry about throughout the day. So I'm absolutely loving the way in which this foundation looks. I would highly recommend it. I do want to specify once more that I do have oily skin. I don't know how it is going to react on a drier skin type because it is a very matte foundation. I did feel it lock into place. Which for my oily skin people, I mean, you guys will 100% enjoy this foundation. I think that is so good. I am definitely gonna go back and get a, another foundation in my proper shade. I won't be returning this. I mean, I've been using this. <laughs> but it's that good that I'm gonna go back and purchase the other bottle. Because I am loving the way my foundation is looking today. It looks so flawless. Every time I looked in the mirror, I was just very happy with how everything was staying Put. So this is where we're going to wrap up the video for today. Hopefully you guys really like this foundation review video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.